What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Continuing the Alpha Frog Cube. Vintage Cube. It's a vintage cube. So if you're here for vintage cube, it's a vintage cube. It just it's just a specific vintage cube. Um, I do like a stone forge. Many people don't. Steam vents is fine. Hollowed is fine. Two blue shockerinos. Can't wait for Ravnica remastered so I can put some retro frame shocks in my cube. In my vintage cube, um, retro frames get priority. So if there's a retro frame card, that's what I put in. Because it's vintage. It's a vintage cube. It's got a vintage feel to it. I think we're just taking Stoneforge Mystic. Pretty easy to build around here. Nothing else really screams to me. I have been conditioned to now press the submit button. I used to be a dragger. Uh, and now, due to multiple dragging issues, one being when you click the card, it now goes back to the other card, the auto-reserved card. So it kind of unselects it. And the other being, sometimes when you drag a card, it shows a different card. So quite a few reasons to just just go to submit. Emrakul's pretty tempting as a second pick. So is Grim Monolith. Fascinating. Oh, boy. I feel like it's got to be Emrakul this early, but then again, Grim Monolith is just good. And if we get a Zerda, I'm going to take the Grim Monolith. We could get Zerda. And then it's infinite mana. And then, the, and then we get an Ember Call. Chad Bradbury, thank you for the resub, my dude. Really appreciate you. What was that, 117 months, huh? Totally reasonable amount of months. It's a good amount of months. That's like, wait. In three months, that's 10 years. That's insane. Wow, dude. I can't believe how far how far we go back. That being said, I don't know what to take here. We got Grim and Stone. <sighs> Maybe Virtue? I don't think this is that good. Maybe it's fine. Maybe we take it and try it out. There's no there's no equipment. I could see taking worm coil and maybe being like we like we don't have to go with stone forge here. It's just an option. Fiery confluence also very good. I'm gonna take the fiery confluence. I think it's just way better than anything else in that pack. Sacred foundry does go with the two cards we have here. Hero of blade hold is also solid if we want to be white. Sail into the west is decent. Yeah, Unexpected Results is probably about 10 years ago. It was probably around... Actually, it was probably a little later than that, but... I think we just take Sacred Foundry. I think it just leaves us the most open here. I don't think it's Crucible. Could be Thunderbolt Hellkite. Like, we could just be big fat idiots. With Grim Monolith, it's not terrible. Yeah, this pack's also pretty mad. I think Crucible and Candelabra are probably the two most compelling cards, but you really have to have specific things going for you. Yeah, I'll just take Thundermall. Whatever, we got a we got a Sacred Foundry. Maybe we're maybe we're a juicy red white deck. Yeah, I'd actually... I think, I mean, March is fine. Volcanic Island is nice in case we end up not white. Still no equipment, though. Yeah, I'll just take March. March is a pretty versatile removal spell. It gets rid of artifacts, gets rid of enchantments. You can get a discount on the cost. There is a balance. There's also a resto and a lightning bolt. 
Solid red white cards in here. Hmm. Fascinating. I do like Resto. I think Resto is probably the pick here. I don't think we're a balanced deck. I feel like we're going to try to have more creatures than they are. I also feel like we're going to have uh, more lands. Yeah, I'll just take Resto here. Uh, Lightning Bolt's really good, though. It's Lightning Bolt. I mean, I mostly just like what we can do with the Resto. Like, we can blink a Thunder Mile Hellkite. We can blink a Stone Forge. Yeah, I think the upside on Resto is higher. And then we have nothing. I guess Phyrexian Dragon Engine is an option. We can also unearth it at some point. It makes me sad that Mishra is not in here. I mean, obviously Mishra I don't think is a, a vintage cube quality card. <laughs> I do think it'd be cool to meld into Mishra lost to Phyrexia though. So yeah, 2013. Yeah, that's that's that sounds about right. Wow, that's really... Wow. Yeah, 10 years ago. That's insane. I'm going to take Dragon Engine here. Hollowed Fountain. Restless Spire. Uh, Samwise is good. Winds of Abandon is fine. Let's take Samwise. Let's see if this guy does anything. I don't think we saw a single... Um, a single equipment in this entire in this entire pack. I'm really tempted to take Bonfire here. It's got to be better than Thank Soul Herder, right? We don't really have a Soul Herder deck. Hmm. Oh, wow. Get Lost came back. That's great. Easy pick. Shua Garner. Thank you for the resub, my dude. I'll just take this guy. I've actually had really sweet uh, interactions with Seething Song. I think it's very good. Sure, I'll take a rabbit battery. It's much closer to Dark Ritual than, like, Pyretic Ritual or, like, Desperate Ritual. You're basically, you're knitting two mana. Same thing with Dark Ritual. Like, it just costs three instead of one. But ramping from three to five in a deck that ordinarily should not do that is usually pretty good. Oh, that's a nice one. A little Comet. And there's not really much in the way of competition. I do like Skyclay Apparition. I think Comet's just way too good. This is a top tier Planeswalker, this little guy. <laughs> Space Dog. Fantastic. If Bankbuster, Pyromancer, or Skyclay Apparition come back, I'll be totally fine with that. Easy. Easy pick. Skull Clamp. Interesting. And an Andoral. And a Prismatic Vista, which I care less about. It's definitely... It's gotta be Skull Clamp, right? Especially if we're looking for Pyromancer to come back. And I think Endural might actually... It's very possible it comes back. But we definitely want a an equipment for that guy. Oh, Path to Exile, huh? Also, Sneak Attack. We didn't pass much other than Emrakul, and we do have Seething Song. That's interesting. It's not great with what we have now, but there is still time to pick up other Eldrazi, Atraxa, Gristlebrand, things of that nature. I doubt Path will come back. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I doubt Path is coming back. There's just not, there's not eight other playables in this pack better than Path. But we do already have Get Lost. We have March. Yeah, I'm going to just hedge on the sneak attack. I just think it's a better... It's a better upside. I do kind of like Currency Converter here, especially in a deck where we just don't have a ton of ways to, to filter through our deck. I mean, the other options are in Blood, Bloodthirsty Adversary, Prismatic Ending... Student, Lightning Greaves. Yeah, I'll just take the Converter. This is also good. nice if we get a Nurse's Saga. Wheel of Fortune. I'd actually rather take the Savai Triome. We're not a wheel deck. We have no way to exploit a wheel. Yeah, we're just taking Savai Triome. 
it's both of our colors and it also has a black on there in case we want to get a lingering souls or something Coligon's command that's nice not castable yet outside of survive trium Elspeth six drop is also not terrible a little expensive but fairly strong I think we just take Coligon's command and kind of hope that we can get another black fixing land less Shinor there's an Ulamog which is exactly what we want for sneak attack and we're only passing like Wandering Emperor Leshnorn which is totally fine yeah any 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 Eldrazi with Annihilator is just totally fine even though we've gotten like two or three subs I'm going to reset the sub goal to make it more accurate Vindicate. Jetmere's Garden is also two of our lands. Burgi. Does Burgi do anything really? Not really. The Horn's not terrible. Garden is just a dual land. Char is just Char. I think we take Vindicate and try to just be Mardu. I think it's the strongest card in this pack by a, by a sizable margin. Apparition coming back is fantastic. If that path does come back, I'm going to eat my hat. Rampaging Raptor, I'd rather have it over Wall of Omens. It's just Red Questing Beast. Wow. <laughs> wow. Shua Garner. Not too bad, man. Not too bad. Prismatic Ending came back. Also, if we... um. If we sneak this in, when it dies, while the trigger's on the stack, we can play Samwise and get it back, right? We can actually take Prismatic Ending because we do have Zagoth Triome and Savai Triome, which gives us, like, all five colors. I'm not sure if we'll do that, but... Oh, Imperial Recruiter's not terrible here. Omnath. Less, less good, though. Probably not playing that. Oh, Mox Pearl. Oh, and a Time Walk. I mean, we're obviously taking Mox Pearl and passing Time Walk. Mox Pearl is actually perfect. It's an on-color Mox, you see. I mean, I could also see Cutting Sneak and Ulamog if it just doesn't line up. Yep, just taking on-color Mox. Like, not, not really a hard pick there. Let's sort by, nope, sort by, sort by, nope, sort by Mana Valley. There we go. All right. Uh, Wooded Foothills is kind of great here. Wow, Mana Drain. We could have had Time Walk Mana Drain. This is why you just always draft blue. Don't let other people be blue. Whoever is blue is going to get like the nuts deck here. I feel like this is not actually in the correct spot here. That's better. <sighs> yeah, I think it's just Wooded Foothills. It gets a Sacred Foundry and Savai Triome. I, we are definitely not a Wrath deck. Oh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Okie dokie, we will take double on color Moxes. Easy game, easy life. We do have a Lion Sash, a, a Luris, a Vampiric Tutor that could all table. They could not table, but like, those are... Oh, I like a Goldspan Dragon. Yeah, that's pretty good. I do like Talisman, but I don't think I'm going to take it over Goldspan Dragon. Wow, that was fantastic. Look, I dragged there. He's reverting. I do like Sarah Paragon a lot. Inti's actually pretty good too. Don't really care about Wasteland. Like this is whenever you attack with any creature, you may discard a card. You put a plus one card on a card attacking creature against Trample. And then when you discard one more cards, you exile the top card so you get to like play it. 
that actually feels pretty decent here. Like we have a lot of four drops, so I'm not really interested in another four drop. Yeah, I'll try Inti. Inti's also a new card, so I'd like to give it a try. God of the Shrine seems good. Better than Black Cleave Cliffs. I don't think it's Molten Collapse. Guardian of Gearpoos, actually. I think this card's terrible. It doesn't have Flash, so it's not a Resto. It costs three mana like Flicker Wisp. It can only target your things. Yeah, I don't know. It's just not very good. We're definitely taking God of the Shrine here. That's a nice pickup. Especially if we want to play Vindicate and Kolagon's Command, which we do. This pack is pretty rough. Double black card. Jace and Leovold. I'm probably just going to take the Jace. Like, we're not going to play anything in this pack. And the person next to us that we passed Mana Drain and Time Walk to doesn't also need a Jace. Oh, Fatal Push. Oh. <sighs> what does Backup do? When this creature is about to put two one one counters, another creature, if that's another creature... Gain. Oh, I know what. Yeah, okay. So this is a 3-3 three, three for 3, and you can sacrifice to deal its power to any target. I feel like it's just Bitter Reunion here. Again, I really wish we had more <laughs> We got one equipment. It's kind of sad. I think the next pack would have had the Endoral in it. I'm just going to take Fatal Push, actually. Oh, Reckless Stormseeker's not terrible. Might actually play it over Dragon Engine. Man, our, our Stoneforge Mystic decks have only had Skull Clamp in them for the past, like, two drafts. Savannah? Do you do anything? I mean, you work with Prismatic Ending, but I think that's it. I'll just take Collective Brutality here. Oh, Luris came back. That's fascinating. That seems okay. Yeah, I'll take Alurus. Monastery Mentor. Okay. Um, We're not black enough to have double black gentlemen. Eh, black Leaf Cliffs. Okay. Well, I do wish the Enduro came back. Splashing for two black cards. I don't think we're going to play this. This is 27. That's a lot. Cut Fatal Push. I like all of our two drops. What is this guy? When it enters battlefield, you may discard your hand if you do draw three cards. This is nice because if you have less than three cards, you just get to draw that many. So it's actually pretty decent. I think we actually cut the sneak. I don't think it's doing anything for us here. This is also 24, which is nice. This is close to where we want to be. It's only 12 creatures, but Comet can make creatures. Currency Converter can make creatures. I feel like we take out a three drop here or unexpectedly absent. Yeah, we have a lot of spells. I do feel like it's unexpectedly absent. Yeah, this seems okay. I don't actually know if I like Stoneforge Skull Clamp here, which is really awkward. This deck, I, this deck has a lot of good cards that I like, but I feel like it's not going to come together. I I have a concern. I mean, I can see adding Imperial Recruiter. 
Stoneforge only being able to get Skull Clamp is so frustrating. This is actually why I like having the swords in my cube, because I feel like you just see more equipment. When your main equipment are like Skull Clamp, Endural, Batter Skull, Cauldra, like, you might not see any of them. Yeah, I guess this is fine. We'll see how it goes. Combine the groups. So we'll play Wooded, Savai, Sacred, nope. Sacred, Godless, maybe Blank Cleave Cliffs? I don't really want it to come into play tapped on like a relevant turn. Do we add one Swamp? Probably not. We have two black cards. And we have Godless, Savai, and Wooded, three black sources. Maybe we do play Black Cleave Cliffs. We'll see if it bites us. All right, so none of those. Four, five, let's actually sort by color here. Okay, so pretty evenly split. White, red, white. Might lean slightly to the white, there we go. Okay, well, red sources, we have one, two, three, four, five. This is nine. White sources, we have one, two, three, four, five, nine. Fascinating. Oh, this also gives us one more of each. So 10, 10. I think actually 10, 10 is fine with double red, double red, double red, double red. I think that's actually just fine. All right. Well, fingers crossed. All right, round oon. Um, oh, this is interesting. We could play Wooded Foothills, then play Mountain, crack Wooded Foothills for a Godless Shrine, cast Samwise to get the Godless Shrine back. I'll keep this hand. Or not to get the, to get the Wooded Foothills back, rather. Thank you. Oh, Kerwit with the resub. Appreciate you, my dude. Oh, interesting. Hmm. So I think we just do that now, actually, right? It just gives us a turn one guy. Sacred Foundry. I mean, that was pretty good. And now we can get Savai Trium off of this to, uh... Unfortunately, we have no other way for the ring to tempt us here. Oh, that was a great... Wow, that was a really good draw, because now we can Vindicate their... Or do we give them one draw and keep up Monastery Mentor? Not keep up, but play it so that it can actually trigger off of the Vindicate. Fascinating. Kerwin is actually in Tokyo right now, yeah. Well, Japan. I don't know if it's exactly Tokyo, but he, yeah, he went to Japan. I was like, hey man, if you're not doing anything, you're definitely welcome to come hang out with us for, for Thanksgiving. And he was like, I'll be in Japan. And I was like, I understand. I think we're just going to go... Is it worth one token? It's not just one token, though. It's an extra attack. <sighs> I'm trying to figure, like, I'm not letting my brain process at all. What do they do? They get to look at a bunch of cards? I don't want them to do that. I'm, wa I'm waiting for their life's hole to go down. Or their, or their watery grave to be returned to their hand. Neither of those happened. 
Uh, library did nothing wrong. Oh man. So it's it's not that I hate Sylvan Library. It's that if I can't have it, no one will. You know, so that's really where I'm at. Ooh, a Stoneforge. I think I just play Stoneforge here to get the uh, the skull clamp before we draw it. We could also murder Sam as well, which is unfortunate. Mr. Frodo! Uh, so, I, I don't want to just play all my stuff before this mentor comes out, you know? But I do think it's fine. We're, we're clamping. I want to clamp. That was rude. Did you not have that last turn? Oh, you were tapped out last turn. I understand. I will not pay two. Okay. Well. Buttery biscuits. <sighs> oh, wow. This is two rude things back to back. That's true. I did blow up the library. What can I do with that? Was that you said nothing? Checks out. Checks out. One white is really kind of... Oh, we have two white. Look at us go. So we can go... One, two, three. For a menti wenty. And then we'll do a little pathy wathy on this guy. You know? Make a gentleman. Enjoy your little basic land. Man, you ever just give your opponent rampant growth? It's pretty good. I mean, our deck does not like a Gaunti. It's not really easy to get around. I mean, I don't know what they're going to do, but I'm, you know, fingers crossed that we don't die here. You think we'll die? No. But maybe. It's a vintage cube. Anything can happen. Oh god, there's a lot of ice in here. It's all, it's one big ice clump now, you know? You know when your ice becomes one big ice clump? Oh, well. Yeah, that's pretty good. That was our fiery confluence that they took and used against us. I'm loving it. Okay, now we're definitely even. <laughs> like, that's not the same at all. Wow, that was... Well, that was sad. We lost a Fiery Confluence, a Monastery Mentor, a Stoneforge, a Samwise, and a Token. To be fair, Samwise got us a card. Stoneforge got us a card. Fiery Confluence, we didn't really lose a card. I don't like him, so I will murder him. One. Uh, mm, cast. One, two, three, four. Dunzo. <sighs> Draw your card. They're going to go Force of Negation. Hard cast Force of Negation. Let's see. They did not. Give me a comet. Fantastic. <laughs> Gotta love it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We could literally just cast the Ulamog that's on our sideboard. My god, Gonti. 
like we've drawn land grim monolith like uh, why couldn't they have drawn a bunch of junk instead of the good stuff i don't get it Oh, and they discarded a basic. Yeah, our one card to their six is really not... It's not doing what we want it to do here. Yes, I put ketchup in my water. I put ketchup in it. Ketchup. That's what I did. All right. Mill three cards. Okay, they're milling and getting a land. They're just killing our Grim Monolith. Sure, that's fine. We don't have anything to do with that. Wow. They milled a bayou and a trop. Their land, their mana base is fantastic. They're living the salt eye dream that I can only, I can only imagine. I'm having a good time. Who's, who's loving life? Boy, oh boy. Oh, dear. Come on, Hellkite. <laughs> Jesus, God. Or Goldspan Dragon. We have a lot of Flash creatures that could really do a number here. Come on, come on, come on. Rampaging Raptor. We have a lot of Flash... Uh, not Flash creatures. Haste, haste creatures. Haste, Flash. It's all very quick. A lot of quick things are happening. You got it. I just want those three cards. I covet... I, I'm coveting that jewel. Uh, interesting. Well... Squirrels get haste? I don't think so. They gain haste. <gasps> That's interesting. Actually, in that case, I'm tempted to seething song here because we're definitely getting through. So I want to make sure. Oh, wait, I'm ah, that's not that's not that's actually terrible. Because we're not going to have the mana to do anything. <laughs> that was stupid. I'm terrible at this game. I got excited because I would have three extra mana. Are they just going to counter this? If they counter it, we're just done here. Hmm. Okay. Um. I mean, I'm not going to worry about this because, like, It wasn't doing anything for us anyway. We could get lucky with our with our comet hits, you know, if, if they don't have anything else in their five cards. This has been a very demoralizing game. Yeah, there's a you don't know you don't know about comet. That's oh, not going to be in the graveyard. That's not how that works. Oh, you're just going to get a counter spell back. Sure, that's that's going to be the end. You don't know about this stellar pup? <laughs> it is from the one of the unsets. So, you know, to be fair. Um, I kind of like Collector Brutality here, and I do think we have enough black sources to justify it. I feel like Seething Song would be great with any of these, except for maybe Fiery or Resto. Wow, man, Fire Confluence would have been really good against them, I think. Wasn't meant to be, though, you know? Um, We have Double Mox. All we could do is Samwise. Uh, they countered our Skull Clamp. Yeah, man, so, like, here's the thing. The Unset this time introduced two different Hollow Foils. 
One is the normal one, like this, and that means that it can be played in regular eternal formats like Vintage and Legacy. The other one is an acorn, and the acorn means that it's only available to be played in casual sets, casual formats, you know, like unsets or uh, unformats or whatever you want to call them. <laughs> yeah, they're not legal in tournament play. That's what I'm getting at. So basically, because Comet has the regular oval hollow foil stamp, that means you can play it anywhere you like. I'm going to take Seething Song out here. I don't think we're a Seething Song deck as much as I want to be. Wonderful. I will keep this. Is this confusing to people? Everyone. Um... So if our goal is to play current uh, to, to play collective brutality on turn two, and we want to play current sync for on turn one, there's no reason to play this on turn one. We could easily draw black cleave cliffs. So we might as well play this to get this guy out. And if we have to pay two on turn two, that's totally fine. But there's no reason to play it on turn one. That is a Savai Triome, if we want it. This one. Well, let's see what we got. Sylvan Library, I bet. I want some banana bread. What are the odds of getting banana bread? Yep, there's a Sylvan Library. I'll always have that. Counterspell. Memory Lapse and Witherbloom Command. Let's get rid of Counterspell, I guess. What are the odds of getting Banana Bread in Tokyo? Also, my stomach is rumbling. And not in a good way. Yep, so Tropical Sylvan Library. I have two Moxes in my deck. They have one Sylvan Library. They draw Sylvan Library every game. I don't draw Moxes. Coincidence? Probably. That guy's pretty cool. Yes. I think we do want to play Skull Clamp here. Because next turn we can actually equip to this guy and attack for one million. Actually, they have that you can get one of the you can get a fruit sandwich. Those are pretty, pretty, pretty bomb. I imagine. Ooh, they milled displacer kit, internal witness, and forest. Okay, so they have a forest in hand. Well, unfortunately. We're just never... Oh, that's pretty good. Why do they have so many cards in hand? Where do they all come from? They're also at 12. Did they, did they draw two cards and take eight? That seems insane. That's suicidal. 
What if I get a loaf of bread and punch a banana into it? I mean, you are welcome to do that. I am under the impression it will not give you the same result that you're looking for. But you never know. Maybe it's a delicious banana treat. Okay, well, they go to four after this. Maybe three if we get to get to storm seek, you know. Or we can just draw Thunder My Hellkite. That'd be sick. Hmm. A classic. <laughs> oh, interesting. So let's play this guy. We'll go double white, red. Just roll the dice. What did we get? I roll a six on a d6. What does that get me? Two more, two more rolls. Choose, um, choose your face. And then I'll just attack four, four. Gotti. <laughs> big money, big money. <laughs> oh, yeah, good times. This is an equipment. We can get this with Stoneforge Mystic. How many times were people saying that in the, in the YouTube comments by now? You stupid idiot. I can't believe you didn't put this in the deck. This card seems great for this. <sighs> we can also get it back with Lurus. Man, what an idiot. What an absolute Melvin. I'll just play 41 here. I'm totally fine with it. We can also cut Grim Monolith maybe, but I kind of like the potential to ramp into something big. Um, okay. So if I try them into Black Cleave into Stoneforge, seems good. We'll keep this. <laughs> here. Let's not kid ourselves. Comet is a monster. Man, dude. This is my favorite kind of opponent. Okay. Well, see, look. Now we still got the one. Stony baloney. We can also play rabbit battery and then kill the rabbit battery. We also got this vindicate coming up. Coming up next on Vindicate Radio. Let's see if they want to counter this. Oh, they did not. What if I put it on this guy? No. What if I play this guy? But like, that's where I draw the line. All right. Feels like we're doing okay, but you never know. Gonti? No? No Gonti. No plays. This is very fascinating. My fascination grows. I think we're killing the rabbit battery. We kill the battery man. Or is it a battery that can be used as power? There's a lot of different interpretations here. 
Oh god, they're gonna play like Urtai, you're countering the triggered ability? And you're destroying something. This is all very fascinating. So I do get to draw one. That's pretty good. No, they're killing the rabbit battery. That's fascinating. Huh. Well, I wasn't going to do that, but you didn't have a play on turn three. So maybe this will just restrict your plays a little bit. Plus, we have a lot of removal, so. Oh, they did have another swamp. Rats. Wait, did I make a Bill and Ted reference? My god, they're just destroying everything. Oh yeah, now we get to play this guy if we just hit a land. Fantastic. <laughs> never, never a land. Wonderful. Okay, okay. Well, I don't want to play Phyrexian Engine. I guess we just play Mentor and Cross? I mean, a land here would have been fantastic. Like, getting Goldspan into play lets us also kill this with Get Lost. Like, what a game-changing play that would be. We could also play Mentor and then march this. By getting rid of the Get Lost. That feels okay. I mean, I just don't want them to have Sylvan Library in play, that's all. Is Melvin the name of death from Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey? <laughs> okay. I wasn't sure if I blacked out and just made a Bill and Ted reference. It's definitely a possibility. Okay, they just played a land. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. That's nice. I mean, I think it's gonna get memory lapsed. Oh, it did not get memory lapsed. Fascinating. Man, Goldspan Dragon is a beast. No, it's a it's a dragon. I was just kidding. I cannot sack it to an obstinate Bayloth. Oh, that was my play. They're at nine. Oh dear. Bad things are gonna happen. Bad things are afoot. Here comes the time sparrow, ladies and gentlemen. Echo Vions. I didn't even see that in the graveyard. That's fine, I lose one card. I don't get, I lose all cards. Yeah, Hall Breacher is just not a fun card. Like, I think, like, denying your opponent draw is fine. Like, Leovold, Narset, those are really cool strategies. But they come with the downside of you still have to wait to play your spells. 
Like he would have, they would have three mana. I would have one card from Narset or Leobold because you only get to draw one. And they would have three mana. But now they have seven, ten mana. I have zero cards. Like it's just, it goes above and beyond. Like I just think it's so much, like it's just not fun. <sighs> well, that's a lot of mana. Yep. Wait. Did they just target this? Because if I sacrifice this, they don't get any things. Oh, wow. That was so good. <laughs> Oh, if you, if you pest infestation, something that only has one target and the target disappears, the spell gets countered. When a spell has no target, that spell gets countered. That's why you either pest infestation for none and make 42 count 42 creatures. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's just, that's magic, right? Like, that's a rules interaction that they were not aware of. And I was aware of it. And we got to do the deed. Do the dirty deed. Well, we're definitely killing this guy. Popping out the little bait. This might be the game. Wow, this is actually... No, I think they go to two, which is unfortunate. So they're blocking here. They're taking four, five, six, seven. They go to two. They have a lot of cards, but we have... Yeah, that's that was insane. Wow. Dogs are looking real cute in that corner. Okay. Are they getting Urtai back to kill our... They have to get Urtai to kill our Goldspan Dragon, right? Which is fine, but slow. And we still have three creatures. And we get a good amount of mana next turn. So hopefully we just don't draw land, right? Guys? Oh, Grim Monolith. Fascinating. We both have a monolith. We both have a Grimothy. Goodbye, Goldspan Dragon. Urtai is so good. Like, you let them draw a card, but like, objectively, you're killing something worse than, than what they draw, right? Mmm, that actually does it. <laughs> That's pretty good. Because now we put the 1-1 counter on Stoneforge. Oh. Okay. Well, that does not do it anymore. We do need... <sighs> that's not That's not it. When you're talking about discard a card, you do put a one on counter on target. Good you against Trample. Actually... Oh, these guys are ones as well, so we definitely need a spell here.
Well, let's see what happens. Discard. Oh, fuck, he gets a counter. Oh my god, I forgot about that. Oh, Mountain. Well, I guess we'll play it. Yeah, that sucks. They're just going to block with Torok. Ugh. What a perfect draw. All right. Well, we're definitely on the back foot now. Unless we can draw Fiery Confluence or Thunder Mile Hellkite. Sure. Well, now they go up to three. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, they just have a bunch of dorks, it looks like. I have to assume they have, like, memory lapse, or I guess can't counterspell is not an option. Hmm. Hmm. Does that do anything? It makes these guys bigger. Then they have three blockers. So we can path this guy. Block 2-2. Two, two. Block 2-2. Two, two. That doesn't do anything, unfortunately. And Torox surprisingly obnoxious here. Wow. I can't believe we're gonna we might just lose after that pest infestation. Fantastic situation. The infestation situation. Yeah, I should have definitely killed this guy, I think, during upkeep. Now they get to exile two creatures and go to five, which is just really frustrating. Oh, God, their ward is discard a card. I'm literally just fucking misplaying left and right. Ugh. <sighs> Yeah, cool. Yeah, so I guess I'm glad I didn't do that last turn anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Shut up and take my money. Hullbreaker, hey, I heard someone here was badmouthing me. Get wrecked. <laughs> That's sad. Well, I guess we'll just trade Urtai for a 2 2. Like, what draws do we even have here that would do it for us? We're at six. Third five. I mean, Thunder Mile Hellkite with them not having a counter spell would really be what we need. Mox Ruby does not do it. All right. Well, I mean, I guess. Like, can we draw anything with these guys? Maybe. Fiery Confluence puts us in it. Yeah, all right. I mean, I know they have a counter spell, so we're just kind of fighting an uphill battle here. And it's a Luris. That's actually not the worst. No, it's pretty bad. <laughs> That's pretty bad with what we have in there. Yeah, I guess when they're able to get rid of all our creatures, Luris is just not as good. I mean, I could literally just take three here. They have perfect information. Okay. A 
that's actually pretty good because now we can get that guy back with Luris. So, unless they counter Luris. I'm assuming they will. They're choosing their modes with Mystic Confluence. Memory Lapse. Okie dokie. Yep, that'll do. I mean, we could block here, take four, and then we just draw Luris again. Yeah, and then we have Grimmauld coming. That sucks. That's really frustrating. I think that was far closer than it should have been. I think it's, I think the frustrating part is not losing, but like having to claw your way back from such a disadvantaged position and then still losing to like just bad luck. Yeah, this is terrible. <laughs> uh, this is pretty good. This is a turn two Thundermaw Hellkite if we actually hit a land here. I think we just get rid of Mentor. I think we're just playing in Inti on turn one. Because this becomes a 3-3, three, three, then a 4-4. Four, four. Like, we could easily discard a card and then see if we can hit a land if we miss a land drop. So, you know, fingers crossed. Wow, they're evoking this on turn one? I'll just redraw it, I guess. That's, that's a weird choice. What a weird choice. Top. Easy top. What in the earth? That was aggressive. Hmm. What do you think the odds are they have counterspell here? Pretty high, right? It's got to be super high. Sure, you got it. I will not discard, though. I don't really want to... If we didn't hit a land, I would have, but... <laughs> One, two. Let's do this. Play this guy. How about a Clamperino? Still no. Oh God, not again. Jesus Christ. This card's just not fun. You ever think about legal, legally changing your name to Franklin? No, not no, I haven't, but you also don't know if it wasn't legally Franklin. See, I wonder what you're gonna put on top. 
Also, we can't even activate this guy now because, oh, we get to exile it. So yes, we can. Yep. Oh boy. I mean, regardless of the quality of our deck, like, I'm just so over Hull Breacher. Cool. Oh, look, I don't get to draw, and you make two fucking treasures. Like, unbelievable. comical oh boy guess we'll attack yeah good games um i also did not think you were going to be able to come back and then you know of course i'm only playing against hull breachers so that's fun <laughs> Might as well cast it, I guess. Two to each creature and one to an opponent. Five mana up and six cards. What do you think the odds of this resolving? Zero? I say zero. Yep, cool. Wow, great. Uh, I mean, I do like Rabbit Battery back in. You take Seething Song out. Collective Brutality does seem good against them. They got the Dragon Engine, I guess. That's trash. It's not great. <laughs> Ship of red, I guess. Yeah, Torak was also an insane draw. Like it's just it it negates my inti and in that I the discarding doesn't even matter because you're gonna like also get plus one plus one and then all my creatures are white, so it's just like the absolute perfect draw. And then Trustpasser was good too, because it just gets you back in the game. Like yeah, you had a series of, of very good plays, and I just kept drawing lands and mana sources. It happens. Well, a third red source was definitely what I needed. So that's good. Not a black source or a second white source.
yeah, I just don't feel like I'm winning this game with, with this hand. <laughs> it does nothing. And I was holding this in case we drew like Monastery Mentor, but I'd rather just not be behind on lands. I guess it doesn't really matter because you can play it at any time. It's never going to... <sighs> Every game... Ready? Oh, they're gonna play that first, and then they're gonna then they're gonna time twister. Yeah. Okay. Great. Fun interactive games. Hall Breach is a really fun Magic card. This is why I took it. This is why it was originally removed from the Magic Online cube. It was in the Vintage cube, and then they took it out because this because this kind of bullshit. And this is why I also don't have it in my own cube. Like, it's one thing to have Leovold or Narset out. They don't let you draw. So your opponent gets seven, and you get one. Because you only get to draw one card a turn. But Hull Breacher literally says, you don't get to draw even one a turn, except for your draw step. And they get treasures for it. Like, I don't understand why you would put this in the cube. Like, it's just like the least fun card Like, you already have 900 different spikes going after all the draw sevens because Luis drafts them uh, almost exclusively. So it's like everyone just wants to do that. You just want to draw the dra draft the draw sevens. So now they're just also going to take the Hull Breacher. And it's just like the amount of people who are going to play who have Hull Breacher and like three draw sevens is just going to be... Ugh, God. It's just exhausting. I'm just like, it's just like not, it's like just not fun. Yeah, exactly. Eternal Chaos. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I'll watch them here and there, and like every video, it's like, oh, well, here's a draw seven. Oh, here's a draw seven. Oh, here's a draw seven. It's like, I get it. I get you want to like draw all these draw sevens. I get it. It's fun. But it like, d doesn't the variety of magic also like sound fun? Like, I don't know. I, I don't know. Like, maybe it's just me. Like, I think that's the difference between, like, the hyper-competitive players who will play the same deck week in, week out, because it wins for them. You know, like, that does really well for them. And me, who I'm like, oh, this card's fun. I want to cast this big stupid card. I want to see how the interactions go. I want to attack you with a 12-12. You know, like, uh, it just feels like this. I mean, obviously, there's the, those are the differences in, in player types, right? Like, that's totally normal. But at the same time, like... It's like billionaires, right? Like at a certain point, it's like, don't you have enough money? Like, when do you need, why do you need more money? And it's like, at a certain point, I'd be like, God, I've done everything there possibly is to do in magic in terms of like winning games. Maybe it's time I just do something fun and silly. We're definitely just playing Comet here and seeing what happens. I don't think I care about Sacred Foundry because we have double, double toil and trouble. Uh, one thing we can do is Seething Song to also get Skull Clamp down. Which just gives us a better turn. Actually, we can just play it next turn into Phyrexian Dragon Engine. That's fine. <laughs> well, I do appreciate that. Choose a creature or a player. Uh, so four is what? Deals damage equal to its... Yeah, I'm just going to kill that. Just kill your Magda. Liquid hot Magda. Fingers crossed they just don't have a haste creature, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. This is just me ranting. I, I think it's just frustrating playing against back-to-back -back Hull Breacher decks. It's just, it's just one step above, dude. One, two, three. Was this five, six mana? One, two, three, four. Five. Oh, this is an interesting turn. This guy... Mm 
this guy. This guy. They're gonna be like, hmm, counter that dragon engine. What? Oh, from your graveyard? Oh my god, I've been reading this card all wrong. It's only from the graveyard that it does that. That's good to know. Still get to play our whole hand. I mean, it's not like I would have done it differently. I do not have any cards. Man, for some when it enters the battlefield from your graveyard. Oh God. No one said this in the chat, which is comical. And I also could have been I could have been playing that card multiple times in previous games, but I just didn't want to discard my hand. That's hilarious. Yeah. I, it's not so it's not even like so much as reading the card. It's a matter of like thinking you know what the card does. And then not reading it because of that. You're like, I know what this card does. I'm pretty certain of it. So I don't have any incentive to read it. <sighs> That's sad. That's good to know. I've learned, I've learned my lesson. Uh, I'm waiting for the incoming YouTube comments that are like, Hey man, did you know that you can just cast dragon engine and it doesn't discard your hand unless you cast it from the graveyard. And then 20 minutes later, they're going to be like, Oh, I see you just found it out. Never mind. So the question is, do we discard this to this or to this? Probably to this, right? Or to this, right? Maybe. This gets us a card. This also gets us a card. This is free and it gets us a counter. Yeah, we'll just discard it to the... We'll discard it to Inti. Oh, what up, Satan XM? My favorite radio station. Shut up and take my money. Oh, Hullbreacher donated a dollar. Winner's draws. <laughs> God damn it. God, trolling me even in the even in the fucking chat. Oh. Well, that's just rude. I cannot believe you've done this. Okay, well, now we're definitely discarding it to the currency converter. All right. Well, I would have skull clamped had I known. So one, two. Yeah, it's definitely shrine here. And yes. And put that on you. All right. Well, they're at six. Can't, no, there are five. Can't even, can't even lose now. All right, lightning bolt, Lorian revealed. Got it, got it. Just a beautiful, just a beautiful Alara Island. Oh, it's old stomping, stomping, stomping Jimmy. All right. Well, it's going to be a gold span dragon. It was a, it was a mountain. Huh. So we have some options here. We can either loot for two 
discard this guy if we had a better three drop or discard this guy if we hit a land. Or we can play this guy. I guess those are our two options, right? Yeah, so I think we're going to draw and discard here. There's old Goldie. So I think we're getting rid of Mentor. If we get rid of Goldspan, we can play Mentor right now, but I'd rather not. Like, Goldspan just almost kills them. And if we get rid of Mountain, we just can't play anything this turn. They also have to block this guy. I think we get rid of Mountain. Because we can always make a fifth mana from this. Plus, if they end up f having a way to kill this guy, then we get to draw two and we can just play Mentor. Yeah, that's what I figured was going to happen. Do, 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 do. All right. Yeah, that seems good. Getting baked. That's not going to do anything. That's the end, right? This is the end. Do, 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 my only friend, the end. So we're going to play this first in case they do some nonsense. Cook hall. Yeah, okay. So... We didn't see much. Collective Brutality seems fine. I do like the Rabbit Battery. I'm going to take out Grim Monolith, and I'm also going to take out Seething Song. I feel like they just shouldn't have been in here, and I feel bad about it. This actually seems very good. Got one drop, two drop, three drop. Well, look at that. Oh, wow, that's pretty good. Uh, Alright, guess we're just playing Reckless Stormy Boy. Get Storm Seeking, you know what I mean? Lauren, killing currency converter? Okay, sure. It's only this turn, right? Dang. Dang. Sam, why? Um, oh, I, hmm. Mentor killing this into, into that, I guess. It's pretty decent. Yep. Yep. Hmm. 
Get you a little basic land. Give this guy haste. All right. Well, they're at nine. Or eight. I don't even know how math works. How do I expect to win games? You got it. Either get Inti or Sandwise. It's got to be Inti, right? Sandwise doesn't do anything unless... Oh, fascinating. <laughs> that was not what I was expecting. Oh, I guess like if they block... Uh, I can still play everything, right? Well, not this guy, but I mean, I can still play this. Discard a land. How much damage is that? Give this guy haste. And trample. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. I think we're just doing that and discarding land. Oh yeah, this guy's gonna be actually huge because he's getting the plus one. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> Oogie doogie. Well, I will get an extra land. What do we have? Red, 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 white, white. Might as well get another white. Oh, man, any costs two more now, so I can't even. I still can't do the do the do the magic. Hmm. Cost two extra. Yeah, so four. Great. Well, might as well get in there with this little gentleman. Yeah, I have even less incentive to play the, the mountain now. Interesting, you're just using Grim to cycle Aspara's headquarters. Fascinating. I'm 0-2, our opponent is 1-1. One, one. Yeah, that's a good that's a good looking island. Or a mountain rather. Oh, it flipped. Fantastic. Oh, that's pretty good. Alright, so I guess we're trying to do that. Play around days, I guess. It also kills Elite Spellbinder. Okay, well, I have no idea how they're 1-1. One, one. I don't know, maybe like, I don't know, their deck their deck just didn't seem to do much, but I don't know. I, I don't know how I was 0-2, but I guess, yes, I do, Hall Breacher. <laughs> Forgot Hall Breacher. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.